Welcome back to the Character Wins program. My name is Dr. Stephen Long, and today we're going to be continuing the series on learning strategies. Today we're going to be focusing on preparing for exams, and this will build upon uh, the past two seminars on learning from lectures and learning from textbooks. There are four phases that go into preparing for exams. The first one is determining content. Phase two is organizing that content. Phase three is identify the correct and appropriate study strategies. And then phase four is recognize your time limits that you have to prepare for the exam. Phase one is determining content, and this is absolutely crucial because uh, you basically have to know what the information is uh, that's going to be on the exam. And there's multiple areas that you can draw from. Uh, the syllabus is the best place to start because that was the first thing that you received. Uh, so find out any information from there. Uh, also, your text chapters and your lecture notes. If you have any missing information, this is the time you need to replace it. Um, uh, the best indicator of what's, uh, what's going to be on the exam is the previous exams and quizzes. And what you want to understand here and find out specifically is what kind of questions does the instructor ask on, uh, on, on exams? So is, are they low-level questions? Is he just looking for facts? Uh, or are they high-level questions? Is he asking you to really think and analyze? Uh, if they're high-level questions, it's going to be uh, it's going to be an indication of what kind of study strategy you need to employ. And then look at the handouts and make sure you have all those. What kind of information you have there? Uh, and then there's a review session. Being a student athlete, you may not have the opportunity to go to the review session, uh, but it's a really good idea to have somebody that you know well uh, go to the review session for you. And uh, other student information, uh, such as it's, it's always a good idea to have study groups for each one of your classes. And if you form study groups with other student athletes, and if they're not in season, most likely they'll be able to uh, go to the uh, uh, review session uh, if you are in season. But if you're not in season and they are, then you can go to the review session. It's, uh, it's just a great tool to have. And when you go to the review session, you want to have uh, – questions ready. You want to go in there blind. But these are all the different areas uh, of content that will, uh, that will determine what's on the exam. Once you assembled all your information sources, now it's time to organize that content and basically integrate all of it. The bottom line is that there's way too much information uh, for, y for you to m try to memorize every little piece of it. You have to organize it and integrate it in a way that makes sense and that's manageable. And so what you, the first thing you do is basically just look for themes. And uh, for, a, uh, for, for a comprehensive final exam, there might be 12 to 15 different themes. Uh, for a midterm, there might be uh, maybe six to eight different themes. Uh, but that's what you're looking for, is that you're looking for themes. And where you find them is through the syllabus. Uh, that, that's the first place to look, but also uh, the introductory chapter of your, uh, of your textbook uh, but, and also the table of contents, and, uh, but also your lecture notes. If, you're, uh, if your instructor uh, is well thought out, your instructor will be able, uh, is, is integrating the lecture notes uh, with, the, uh, w with the text, and that will be shown through the syllabus, and you'll see the different themes. And so through all the different sources of information, you'll be able to identify those themes. And once you identify them, then you start to integrate the information. So that means basically taking information from the lecture notes and from your text notes and from the review session and putting them into one area. Now, you don't have to rewrite your notes. Don't do that because that's a waste of time. And this whole idea is to save you time. All right, but just assemble the notes and all, and, all, and all your information in a way that you know where everything is as far as what those themes are. What's going to take up the bulk of your time is, is identifying what those themes are. For a uh, comprehensive exam, it might take uh, over an hour to, uh, uh, to identify what these themes are. And for a uh, midterm, it might take uh, about a half an hour. But they will save you hours, literally hours on the backside of study. And, and that's so the first thing, uh, so phase two is to organize the content. And if you have trouble on your own, uh, look for guidance. 
uh, from your instructor. That's what they're there for. Ask, for. ask your TA if you're a college student athlete. If you're a high school student athlete, uh, ask your parents. Uh, but also study groups, other students. Uh, lean on them, and they'll be leaning on you. Uh, so share that information with, the, uh, w with your other students and identify what those themes are and organize it into themes. Once you have organized your content and you develop themes as far as what you think will be on the test, now you can start predicting exam questions. And this can be a fairly tenuous area, uh, is that you want to avoid trying to get into the head of your instructor, because most likely you won't be able to. Uh, but there are some sources that you can gain some information. So instead of trying to guess uh, what the uh, teacher is going to put on the exam. Try to find out for sure. And uh, one way is just your previous exams and quizzes. Uh, that's the best way to find out uh, what might be the, uh, uh, the, the exam questions and the type of exam questions. Uh, also, check uh, in your library on reserve. Uh, your instructor may have put some past exams uh, on reserve. Uh, and uh, uh, good instructors will do that. So always check on the reserve shelf. Uh, but also uh, the review session is absolutely critical. Uh, you'll get a much better feel for what's going to be on the exam and what type of exam questions are going to be asked uh, by going to the review session. And like I said, if you're unable to because you're traveling or you practice or competition, uh, have one of your study group members go. And then also uh, your, uh, ask people, uh, ask the instructor directly, but if he's, uh, he or she is unavailable, ask, ask a TA, uh, and also hash it out with study group uh, members as far as what they've uh, learned from previous exams and quizzes and what they've learned from, uh, from the uh, review session. Once you have an idea of what kind of exam questions you're going to be asked, now it's time to look at what kind of uh, questions you're really going to be focusing on. Uh, again, low-level questions. This is factual information. Who, what, where, and when. Uh, and this is, this is going to require memorization, uh, basically strict memorization on your part. But if it's high-level questions, such as, you know, how, do we, how is the information applied? Not so much as far as how would you apply it, but... Uh, how did the people uh, in, 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 your, in the discipline, in the field of study, apply it? Uh, but how are problems solved? Uh, how do you analyze the information, or how did people within the field of study uh, analyze the information? Uh, compare and contrast. Uh, and then uh, uh, sometimes the instructor will allow you to make judgments about the value of the information. And this is going to require more thinking rather than uh, strict memorization. Uh, but it's always good to write it down. Uh, lo look at the uh, information in, from these five different ways, applications, problem solution, analysis, compare and contrast, and value judgments. Look at the information from these five ways and then write that down uh, rather than just try to memorize it. Uh, but that's, uh, that's going to be the value of, uh, of understanding the different difference between low-level questions and high-level high questions. Phase four is about recognizing your time limits, and there's one rule of thumb to go by, is always allow more time than you think you need. Always allow more time than you think you need. And if you're going to err on one side, more time or less time, it's always better to have more time, obviously. All right. Now, if you anticipate low-level questions, that basically means you need less time. And so just plan accordingly. Uh, memory doesn't take as long as uh, understanding an application. So high-level questions, uh, if you're anticipating those, that takes more time. And that, uh, so understanding an application will take a little bit more time, uh, depending on the amount of content that you have, obviously. Uh, also, one thing that uh, these scholar athletes uh, did talk to me about is that many of them actually put a deadline on themselves is that they treated it very similar to an athletic event, is that the day before an athletic event was usually an easy day on the practice field. And the last thing they wanted was to have a three or four hour study session uh, the night before an exam. They wanted to be fresh. And so what they did is they, they basically completed all their heavy lifting, all the, uh, all the major studying uh, for the exam one day in advance. And this goes back to your time management skills. 
so you basically put an early deadline on yourself. So if the test is on Friday, you act like the test is on Thursday, and you complete your studying on Wednesday evening. And then Thursday is basically just reserved for uh, an easy day. Just casually review your notes uh, and just kind of take it easy so you're nice and fresh come Friday uh, for the exam. Uh, when people walk into the exam from an all-nighter, uh, most likely they're not going to do as well as they possibly could. So uh, that was one of the more uh, interesting points from the scholar-athletes. In review of this seminar on uh, preparing for exams, this phase one is just determine your content. Just assemble all the uh, sources of information that you have. And then that leads into phase two is organize the content into themes uh, based, on your, uh, based on all the sources of information that you have. And then by doing that, then you can start looking at uh, predicting uh, exam uh, questions through your study strategies. Uh, and then uh, focus either on high level or low level questions. And then recognize your time limits. Is always start a little bit earlier than you think you need and finish a day early so you're fresh for the, uh, so you're fresh for the exam. Uh, next week we'll be talking about taking exams. Uh, so until then, have a great week.